Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be going over the luring system in Nexamon Extinction that was recently added with the release of the Nexamon Extinction Abyssals update. Within the guide, I'm going to show you guys how to unlock this system and what its major applications are. That said, make sure to sit back, relax, and let's dive right in. Okay, so first things first, why care about the luring system? Well, essentially what it does is it allows you to bait certain Nexamon for a 15 minute period, drastically increasing their spawn rates provided you are in an area in which they spawn. This can be done for Nexamon that you both have and have not caught as long as you've seen them. What this means is that you can use this for catching any leftover rare spawns if you're trying to complete the Nexopedia, to capture any of the wardens or tyrants that are roaming, and you can even use them for cosmic hunting purposes. Whichever way you do decide to use this mechanic, you do have to unlock it first, and I'm going to show you how. First of all, you have to have unlocked the Abyssal's DLC area. If you have not yet done that or don't know how, check out this video, which will be linked below for all the information you need. Once there, you can speak to the Ross wannabe in the main hub, and they'll tell you that they're going to find out more about Lords. After this, you can follow my character accordingly until you reach the Ross wannabe again, who will be educated on the lure system by the girl from your orphanage. Once you complete the dialogue, the system will be unlocked. In order to activate this, all you have to do is go to the database, pick the Nexomon you want to make more frequent, and consume whatever type of food that that Nexomon particularly likes. For food shops, you can go to the Drake Isles, east of the spawn point, which has pretty much everything you'll need, and there's also one in Lataria, which has some food options as well. For perfect berries, if you need, You'll have to go to the friendship shop near the Immortal Citadel, which I will be making a more holistic guide for in the future, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Activate the lore, and you'll have a 15 minute window where that specific Nexomon will spawn more frequently. If you want to learn more about how to increase your shiny and cosmic odds, check out this video that I'll leave linked below. It may be a little outdated since there are two more cosmic charms which you can obtain, which by the way I did do a guide for as well. I'll leave that linked too, but the video I just mentioned a second ago has a lot of relevant information, so definitely check it out. If you did find this guide useful, definitely make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more Nexomon content. You can also check me out on Twitter, my Discord, my Patreon, all links below. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Steelcase, Dark Persona, and Drogh Ghost. And with that, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.